Now let us understand a very important category of questions within permutation and combination and we call it a, a, a category of partition and the rule which we use to solve such questions are is called stars and bars method right so the questions from this particular category can be framed in variety of way the only thing what we do in each of the question is that we try to manipulate the question itself so that the method which we will learn in some time can be applied right so to understand that method uh, let us first of all take the things from the very basics and let us do uh, or let us solve the very first questions without using that math because the very first question is too rudimentary and we can solve it without using any kind of method it is very very simple now what the question says let us understand it now it says that in how many ways eight identical apples that means the things which we want to distribute is identical can be distributed between two children so it's obvious that the two children will be different right and no other information is given hence we can assume that it may happen that a child say say if i take the two child to so be say child one and child two a child can get the entire eight apple right and the other child can also get the entire apple but definitely these two things will not happen simultaneously so suppose we want to distribute and we got the responsibility of this distribution then what we what we can do we can straight away go with the a uh, simple counting logic and we can say that it may happen that the first child will get a zero apple and the second child will get the entire eight apple so i can say zero eight is one way of distributing the eight identical apples between two children right now here the word identical is very very important because we are not distinguishing between two apples right the only distinguish, uh, distinguishing factor will be the number of apples a person is getting or the child in this in this case is getting the other way could be if i give one apple to the first child and the rest of the apple that is seven apple to the second child obviously this is one of the po possible distribution and this is different than the previous one right because in the previous one the first one is getting zero in the second uh, in the second case the first one is getting one and similarly the second child is getting eight and seven respectively we can go on increasing the number of apples which one gets automatically the number of apples which two or with the, uh, with the child two will get will keep on reducing the only thing which will happen every time is the sum of the apple has to be eight right so the next if i want to list all the possibilities then it will be two six then three five then four four then five three six two seven one and eight zero right now important thing to note here is that three five and 5 3 are two different distribution because here the people or the children's are different so the first child getting three apples and second child getting five apples is different than first child getting five apples and second child getting three apples so here the order is also very very important right so if i list all these things and uh, and then if i uh, want to think about is there any possibility then definitely i can say that there is no further possibility of distribution so i have listed all the pro all the possibilities and if i want to count then it is counting from zero to eight so overall possibility would be nine or i can say the answer for this question would be nine that is there are nine different ways of distributing eight identical apples between two children now this is very very simple question obviously this uh, distribution between two children is seldom comes into the uh, competitive exams the number of people to whom we want to distribute is obviously greater than two and that's why i have taken the second questions so if i look the look at the second question then it for it again say that then we have to distribute eight identical apples and now the number of children is three again we can make sir, sir, the similar kind of table and keep on distributing the only difficulty would be that now the number of cases would obviously be more and there is chances that we might miss some of the cases or we keep or if we don't go in a logical order then it might happen that we will repeat some of the cases so the possibility of getting wrong answer by this particular approach is too high as well as the effort uh, it will take will be too high right that's not worth giving effort to solve this way so definitely this must be some alternate way so let us come back to question number one again and let us try the method of partition or star and bar method right so the method which we are discussing here is called stars and bars method right so in this case what happened is that suppose if i want to take ident eight identical apples so let me assume that this is the eight identical apples so these star will represent the apples 
so let me just count it it's obviously yeah it's eight now we are uh, right now we are discussing the first question only right so we have to distribute eight identical apples between two children and we got the answer to be nine with this particular approach right now let us see that by this bar and uh, star and bar method can we get nine also and how do we get nine right so what we do here is that since we want to distribute these apples between two children then what i can take is that i can take one partition and suppose if i place the partition like this or a bar like this right now what this particular bar has done it has divided the eight apples in two part one the number of apples which is on the left side of the bar and the number of apple which is on the right side of the bar so if i count them then it is five and three now five and three as we can see is one of the possibilities which we have listed here similarly we could have placed this bar say at uh, at, at a position say like this then in this case the number of apples on the left hand side would have been two and the number of apples which is on the right hand side would be six now two six is the possible one of the uh, or one of the possible distribution as we can see now uh, if i look at another possibilities then we can say that if i just remove it then if i suppose substitute or put the bar at this particular place then we can say that the left hand side is entire eight apple and on the right there is no apple so we can assume mathematically that they are zero apples so eight zero is also one of the possibilities so we can see that the uh, as and when we are putting these bars at different places we are getting different numbers of distribution right now one thing which we need to check is that is there any possibility wherein we can get the same distribution by placing the bars in multiple positions right for example suppose if i want to uh, say get the distribution say 6 2 that the first child should get 6 and the second child should get 2 is there possibility more than one by using this star and bar method so if i take let me just rub this so if i want to distribute uh, or uh, divide this particular stars in six and two then i have to keep one two three four five and six six number of apples on the left hand side so i have to substitute bar at this position now it is quite obvious that i can't have any other position for this bar if we want to distribute in six two that means the number of possibilities that means there are no possibility of getting more than one way of distributing or getting 6-2 distribution by placing the bars over these positions uh, or, or the positions or the gaps which is between the uh, between any two stars right now so what we can derive from here is that the different position which this bar can take will give me the corresponding different number of ways to distribute these eight apples right so let us see how many different position we can have to place this particular bar so if i put the bar at this place then the distribution will be 0 8 and if i put it at this place then it will be 1 7 similarly if i put it at this position then it will be 2 6 so and so forth that means the number of different positions where the bar can be put is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so there are nine different positions where the bars can be put and hence correspondingly we will be getting nine as different number of ways to distribute eight identical apples between two children. So I hope this particular logic of star and bars is very very clear. We using a partition by using a bar to, uh, to, to divide the entire set of these identical things into various groups. Since we need here only two groups, so the number of partition or the number of bars needed is only one now let us use this method to solve the second question directly right we will not be applying this particular method we will be applying this star and bar method directly to get the answer right so let me just rub this part again here uh, i have listed all the eight identical apples and since we have to distribute this among three children's now so we have to make three groups so since we have to divide into three groups then the number of bars required is two right it will always be or the number of bars required will always be one less than the number of children's given in the previous case it was two children so we need only one bar in this case we have three children so we need two bars so the number of ways wherein these two bars can be placed to divide this thing to three uh, three parts suppose one of the one of the way would be suppose if i put the bar at this place and say this place then the first group will be all the number of stars which is on the left side of the first bar so we can see that the first child should get three apples 
Similarly, the next one will be between these two bars. So it will be again, the next child should get three apples and the third one will be the right side of the second bar that is two apples. So we can say that three, three, two, this is one of the possible way of distributing eight apples among three children. Now we have to identify that how many ways these two bars and these eight identical apples can be arranged in, uh, in, in different orders, right? So if I count the total number of things which we put it here is that, that there are eight apples and two bars. So the total number of things is 10, right? So if I place, uh, if I put 10 places, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, then uh, the eight apples and two bars need to be placed at this position, right? So out of these 10, if I pick any two places where I'll be putting the bars, for example, if I select these two positions, where I will be putting the bars, then rest of the position or in the rest of the position will be putting the stars or eight stars in this particular case. And hence we'll be getting one possible way of distributing it, right? So how many ways we can put these two bars in these 10 places? And obviously we have to select two different places for placing these two bars. And the number of ways is straight away 10C2 as we can see, right? So the number of ways of placing the two bars will be 10C2. And once we have selected the place for the bars, the rest of the eight places will be filled with stars. For example, in this case itself, this place will be occupied with the stars. This place will be occupied with a bar. This place will be occupied with stars. Again, this place will be occupied with a bar and this place will occupy with a star. So the distribution is four, two, two, right? Again, you can see this is different than the previous and obviously one of the legitimate method or legitimate way of distribution. That is first child should get four, second two and third two. Right? It may happen that both the bars will come together also. For example, suppose if I select or if I put the bars as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and if I put the two bars like this, then this distribution is nothing but the first child get 3, the second child get apples between these two bars. So there is no apples in this between these two bars, then the second child will be getting 0 and the fifth child will be getting 5. So we can say that the answer for this particular question will be 10C2. That means the number of ways wherein we can put two bars out of the 10 places for eight bars and two, eight stars and two bars, right? And if I calculate it, then it will be 10 into nine by two, which comes out to be 45 straight away. So this has become a formula. So answer for this particular question is 45, right? Now let me give you the general formula for it. So general formula for these, uh, these kind of question or partition or the star and bar method is if there are n identical things which need to be distributed among r different things then the number of ways of distributing them would be n plus r minus 1 c r minus 1 right you can just uh, take the simulation that if n is the apple then r is the children so if r is the number of children then r minus 1 will be the number of bars so the overall number of position will be n plus r minus 1 and out of it we are uh, considering the number of position which we can select for the bars to be put and rest in all other places automatically the stars will take its uh, uh, stars will be placed and this different selections will give me the different number of distribution so please remember this particular formula this is very very important from next video we'll be using it extensively and directly as well hello friends please like and share this video and also suggest the topic in comment on which you want us to prepare the next video thank you